all right so welcome to this video fifth graders and in this video today we're going to learn lesson 36 so let's get started the first one we're going to learn is order of operations and we're going to solve the problems using pandas so let's work on number one so we have three times nine plus seven so when we have multiplication and addition together we're we're going to multiply the numbers first and then we're going to add the number because that's the order. So multiplying first and then adding. Okay. So we're going to multiply 3 and 9 first. So 3 times 9 is 27. And then we add 7. If you add um if you multiply, I mean if you add 9 and 7 first and then multiply it by 3, you're going to get a different answer. And the answer is not correct. So you have to multiply 3 and 9 first, and then you have to add 7. So 27 plus 7 is... Um, oops. 34. And then that's the final answer. And then let's work on number 2. We have 12 plus 36 divided by 4. So again, we're going to divide 36 and then 4 first, and then we're going to add 12 because we have to divide first and then add, dividing first. So I'm going to write 12 and then plus here. And then 36 divided by 4 is 9. So I'm going to write 9 here. So I finished dividing the numbers. So now I'm going to add the number and then 12. So 12 plus 9 is 21. So 21, and then this will be the final answer, 34 and then 21. And then let's move on to the next one, and we have dividing decimals. So let's work on number one together. So we have 1.92 divided by 0 0.04. So when we divide the decimals, we have to see if the divisor is um, the whole number or not. And if we see the number right now, we have divisor, which is 0 0.04. So this is not a whole number. So we're going to make it to whole number. In order to make it to whole number, we're going to move the decimal point to the right by two units. So this decimal point here is going to move to the right by two units. That is going to be 4.0, which is a whole number. So if you do that to the divisor, you have to do the same thing to the dividend. So I'm going to move the decimal point for this one too. And then this will be 192, which is also a whole number. So this will be, uh, I mean, just 4 and then 192. And then let's divide the numbers. So 4 goes into 192. So let's look at these two first. So 4 goes into 19, and then we're going to get 4. Right? Because 4 times 4 is 16. And then 4 times 5 is 20, which is bigger than 19. So we can't write that here. So I'm going to write 16 here, and then I'm going to subtract it from 19. So 19. Uh, minus 16 is 3, and then 2 comes down here, so it becomes 32. So now 4 goes into 32, and the answer will be 8. 4 times 8 is 32, so I'm going to write 32 here, and then subtract it again, and then I get 0. The remainder is 0, so I finish it my dividing, so this will be the final answer. So the final answer is going to be 48. All right, and then let's move on to the next one. So we're going to learn about factors, and I'm going to define the factors of each number. And we're going to work on number one together, so I'm going to find the factors of 99. So 99, I'm going to find the factors. So one is going to be the factor, and 99 divided by one is 99, right? Because one times 99 is 99. So I'm going to just write the things here. So 1 times 99. Okay, and then is 2 a factor? 
two is not a factor, right? Because you're going to get the remainder if you divide by two. And then three, three is the factor because if you divide it by three, you're going to get 33. You don't have any remainder. So three times 33 is 99. So these are the factors. And then four is not a factor. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times 11 is 99. So these are going to be the factors. And then we have 10, and then 10 is not a factor. And 11, we have 11 here. So there are no more factors. So these are the factors of 99. So I'm going to write the answers here. 1, 3, 9, 11, 33, 99. These six numbers are going to be the factors of 99. Let's do one more example. And then I'm going to do number two, 76. So one is going to be the factor, of course. So one times 76 is 76. And then two is also a factor. Two times 38 is 76 and then three is not a factor because you're going to get a remainder and then four four is a factor four times what is 76 you can divide it by four in order to find this number and it's going to be one and then nine so 19 so four times 19 is going to 76 so this will be the factor so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the other numbers are not the factor. So these 6, we're going to be the factors. So I'm going to write, oops, I'm going to write 1, 2, 4, 19, 38, 76. So these six numbers are going to be the factors for 76. Okay, and then let's move on to the last page. So we're going to add each number. Let's work on number one. So we have minus two plus three. So we have three. So it's the same as three minus two, right? So the answer will be one. And then let's do an example. Let's work on number two. We have zero plus minus six, negative six. So zero doesn't do anything with this. So this will be just the same. So the final answer will be negative six. Okay. So this is it for today's lesson. And thank you for watching and see you guys on the next video.